for the creation, creating fresh introductions and conclusions. Now, one way to make your content unique is by rewriting the introductions and conclusions. And this includes rewriting the main intros and conclusions. Say, for example, if you have a PLR report ebook or article, then you can rewrite the introduction and conclusion. Rewriting the intros and conclusions for smaller sections. Let's say, for example, if you have a PLR ebook, then each chapter likely has an introductory passage at the beginning and a summary or conclusion at the end both of which you can rewrite. So let's take a closer look at how to rewrite these passages. Rewriting introductions. Now, the introduction needs to be one of your strongest passages as it's going to influence whether people read the rest of the content. Now, here are different ways you can rewrite a conclusion to make it both unique and compelling. One, build anticipation. Now, here you summarize what's coming in the content while arousing curiosity if possible. For example, you say, in just minutes, you'll discover a simple five-minute trick for doubling your conversion rates. Number two, open with a story. Now, telling a relevant story is a good way to engage people on an emotional level and build rapport. For example, if you're writing about dog training, you might open with a story about how your dog was so badly behaved in public that it was embarrassing. Share a tip. Here you start strong by sharing one of your best tips up front, which will hook the reader and bring them into your content. Also, ask a question. For example, do you ever wish your business would make more money? So the idea here is to engage readers with a question. Number five, open with a quote. Now go to a site like brainyquotes.com and search for quotes related to the content. For example, if you're writing about weight loss, then you might choose to open a piece of content with a suitable motivational quote. Another way to make your content unique is by rewriting conclusions. Now, your conclusion may serve multiple purposes, so you want to rewrite the existing conclusion to accomplish the following. Recap what the person just learned about within the content. So, this not only is a good reminder for someone who read the entire piece, but it's also a good way to get skimmers to go back and read the content more closely. Say, for example, you say, You just discovered the surefire five-step system for house training any puppy, no matter how stubborn they are. Let's quickly recap the steps. Introduce one new piece of information. So here, you offer a bonus tip or other piece of information. And the key is to put one of your best tips in the conclusion, which again will entice skimmers to go back to read the rest of the content. Number three, offer a call to action. So generally, your conclusion especially the main conclusions, should have a call to action. Say, for example, you might encourage people to implement what they just learned or you might persuade them to purchase a related offer. Just be sure to pick one main goal 
and then create one CTA for that goal. Now, too many calls to action ends up with people not taking any action at all. Now for your action steps, your task is to continue working on your PLR content in order to make it unique, add value, and do what's necessary to create your package.